All right. Uh, next, financial analytics. Uh, financial analytics is looking at your financial information and slice and dice it in different shapes or, or form. Uh, the PNL, I'm um, sorry, the CFO dashboard that I showed you before is a very good example of um, taking advantage of financial analytics, is being able to pull information from your financials, from other sides of your business, and just plug into simple or more sophisticated dashboards to come up with something like this. It must be easy, it must be fast, because usually the people who do these things, they don't have much time to learn complicated tools. So I'm gonna show you how our financial analytics helps significantly our clients be on top of their financial uh, metrics overall. So first of all, I'm gonna talk a little bit of some concepts. I'm gonna show here an Excel sheet where our clients usually fill out information. So they have here the GL chart of account from to, and then they say, you know, these are the GL account numbers. And usually the segment one, they define it these different buckets. And then we can have several different buckets of what we call, we call the analytics buckets. One, two, three, four, as many as you want. Out of the box, we cover one, two, three with a pre-configured framework that already sets things aside by the typical uh, big buckets of financial, you know, profit and loss and balance sheets. Uh, the same way the sub-accounts we already have kind of, you know, pre-mapped. So as long as the client populates these numbers based on their own uh, uh, GL account numbers, automatically we spin hundreds of reports and dashboards looking at different ratios. Let me show uh, one example here. This one. Many of our clients, they look at wages, uh, uh, cost of, you know, payroll wages versus other buckets of their financials. In this example, I'm showing wages versus operating income. It could be gross profit. It could be wages versus operation expenses, any of those things. So in this example, what we have is the bars or the posted amounts, the wages are in the green bars. In these other bars, which can be orange or blue, are the actual operating income. So I have this information um, using this chart in the same information showing the numbers in the ratio of operating income divided by, by wages. So this is just one example. This is an out-of-the-box example that shows that you can keep track of different things, maybe marketing expenses versus revenues. If you increase your market expenses, are your revenues going up? Maybe you want to keep track of that. So we provide a lot of these reports and dashboards out of the box so you can quickly see if they're working or you can tweak them to fulfill your specific needs. If you want to see operating income versus wages in more detail, you know, this is a very high level view. Here we have an out of the box report that shows at the very top the operating income, you know, in the company history in this example. And then at the bottom, I have all the details that will add up to this operation income and at the very top, my wages. So I can see how my wages are versus per income and see all the details of my PL at the bottom. So, uh, so very, very powerful for people to do things like, like I was showing on the CFO dashboard. As, as you remember, we have, I have one section of the dashboard that shows specifically financial numbers, like you know the gross profit, revenues, all of these things pretty much out of the box, the CFO plugged and play because our financial analytics already is pre-configured to, to his system. Now, how can someone build something customized to their own needs like I was doing here? We already have many of these things out of the box, but how can a person start from scratch? What I'm gonna show you now is start from scratch. So far you, see, you saw everything ready, but the beauty of data self with Tableau is easy to do new things to slice and dice your data. So now I'm on the publishing tool. Um, I have here my data sources. Out of the box, we have AP, AR, CRM, Google Analytics, a bunch of GL things, inventory, manufacturing, purchasing sales, sales order, services, uh, US GDP information. Well, I wanna use financial analytics. And now I have my financial analytics out of the box system. And suppose I wanna see revenues and gross profit by month. 
So I go to my revenues here. I double click revenues. I double click posting date. And I choose by month. So right now I'm simply seeing my revenues by month. Very easy. Okay, now I want to see gross profit percentage with this chart. I go to gross profit. My gross profit percentage is right here. I can put on my chart. So at the bottom I have gross profit percentage and on the top revenues, but I'm going to right click and say, show me this on a dual axis. So now I have both side by side. And for my, for my gross profit percentage, I wanna make this a line. There it is. In a few clicks, I have this chart showing my, gross pro, my actual revenues and my gross profit percentage. What if I also wanna see net profit in net profit percentage on this little dashboard. It's all out of the box. I come here. Let me take my net profit and I'm gonna put as my report. So at the bottom I'm seeing net profit and we'll see net profit percentage, drag and drop. And I wanna see the net profit percentage as a dual axis as well. And I wanna make also a line. And that's it. In a few clicks, in about two minutes, even explaining, I was able to build this dashboard uh, from scratch. And as you can tell, out of the box, we cover a lot of different buckets of the PL report. We also have many buckets that cover balance sheet reporting and many buckets to cover both of them together. So let's say if you want to see your wages versus your open receivables or your liabilities, it would be as easy as I just did. With financial analytics, you can take your analysis of your GL metrics and KPIs to a whole new level that you can improve your bottom line and move forward more quickly.